Be Quiet is known for many things, but RGB ain't one of them. But now, after producing case fans for nearly 13 years, they finally made the jump. Meet Be Quiet's response to how RGB should be made, the light wings. And just to jump a bit ahead, RGB does not always come at the cost. So these are Be Quiet's first ARGB fans, the Lightwings. Fortunately for me, Be Quiet streamlined their products a tiny bit this time. Instead of a 3-pin and a PVM version, this time there is just a normal 120 PVM and a 120 PVM high-speed version. One spinning at 1700 RPM and the other one at 2500 RPM. And yes, you heard that right. 2500 RPM. While almost taking off, the light wings are pushing around 52.3 CFM at 2.6 mm of H2O while yielding at up to 31 dB. Unlike every other Be Quiet fan before, the light wings can be purchased in a triple pack. This then provides you with a little treat in form of Be Quiet's first RGB hub. This connects to power using a SATA power and can provide a 3-pin ARGB signal to up to 6 fans while connecting to your motherboard using an additional ARGB adapter. But don't mistake this for an ARGB controller. This thing does not create any RGB. This only takes a signal from your motherboard and then pushes it to 6 fans. If your motherboard does not come with an ARGB header, this will essentially become a glorified cable holder. Additionally, I think that the controller is rather chunky compared to what other brands are including with their fan sets. And I would have preferred to have a small magnet attached to the back instead of that double sided tape. Now onto the fans themselves. Comparing them directly to Be Quiet Silent Wings, there is a lot that has changed to the good and to the bad. Gone are the different mounting kits, providing you with two choices that are basically incon inconsequential as there is no way you will hear the difference and they were a really pain in the ass to install. Now they are replaced with a fixed approach embedded into the frame with a bit of rubber to get some of these vibrations out, which I believe was a good idea. Also gone are the nicely braided cables. These are now replaced with two normal cables, one for PVM and the other one for your ARGB signal. Although I think it's great that Be Quiet adds an ARGB splitter to every fan, I would have appreciated another one at the PVM cable and I would also have preferred to keep the braided cable. But there is also something very uh, noteworthy about this ARGB plugs. As you probably heard from like every reviewer ever, ARGB plugs are pure freaking evil. These little pieces built specifically to promote drinking paint are a pain in the ass to handle and the only thing being less motivated to stay together are your parents. But not at Be Quiet, not there. I, I don't know who produced these, but he is a wonderful person and we should all be worshipping him for it. The very first time I connected these, I immediately heard that that click sound. You know, that sound where you know that two things are becoming semi-permanently attached to each other. That connection on here is just amazing. They keep so well together, nothing becomes loose while wiggling it, and after installing them again and again, these suckers are still keeping together and I still have that click sound. It, it is just truly amazing. Really good job, be quiet. It kind of feels weird that I'm so happy about an ARGB header, but I, I, I guess now this shows how much paint I had to drink before Be Quiet finally did it right. Putting the comparison to the side for a moment, let's get to the actual RGB. The front of the light wing is covered with a ring all around the fans, and although there are only 18 LEDs in there, the implementation is very nicely made. There is no LED visible to the naked eye and the transition between colors looks super clean. As a little bonus, Be Quiet added four little thin cut-ins on the back of the fan to make it look just as good from the back. All in all, I am very surprised about how Be Quiet did all of this. Be Quiet was always the kind of company that created very simplistic and, and clean looking products. And usually RGB tends to destroy any simplistic design, but in my opinion Be Quiet managed to find a very good middle way here, combining the known Be Quiet clean style with good looking RGB. Now coming back to the comparison part, there is something very interesting I wanted to point out. No matter which Be Quiet fan you look at, if you compare the normal and high speed version, they look identical. The only difference is the speed and therefore the resulting number. Now on the light wings, this is not the case. If we compare the normal and high speed versions, we can see that Be Quiet completely changed the wing design, while the normal white wing 
are going for an approach similar to a silent wing. The high speed light wing have two wings more while being significantly thinner and bent to a larger degree, a design approach which usually indicates a higher static pressure. And I find this to be particularly interesting because it's actually the very first time that Be Quiet went with a design like this. Until now, Be Quiet fans always followed a wing design which can be compared to something like a Noxia NFF12, while the newer light wings are more comparable to something like a NF812. But all of this only counts for the high speed version. The normal version follows the old design again and this in my opinion makes them completely different fans and they should not be compared to each other in a sense of slow and quick version. The reason why I noticed that the wing changed that much, which frankly was pretty hard considering I only looked at spec sheets and there was just a brief information about the fan being good on radiators, but anyway the, the reason why uh, I started to do some research was because I needed to understand why these fans turned out to be that good. Yes, good. Letting them spin at 100% fan speed, the Lightwing high speed managed to keep the CPU at 42 degrees C. That's 2 degrees better than the original Silent Wings and just 3 degrees behind the NF-A12s. Amazing. Making them the absolute best RGB fan I have seen to this day. Really freaking impressive. Now onto something that I just can't wrap my head around. Although the quiet spec sheet clearly state that the silent wing high speed are quieter than the light wing high speed, my benchmark showed that the light wings are clearly quieter than the silent wings all across the board. And at first I, I didn't get, get it, so I let both fans spin in front of me at full speed and then I switched them around a couple of times, but no, I also have the impression that a light wing is a bit less loud than a silent wing. I don't know why the spec sheets are saying otherwise, I really don't know, but the light wings are clearly the better fans and they seem to also be the quieter fans and they got some schmancy fancy RGB. Unfortunately, I do not know if all of this performance enhancing stems from Be Quiet using a different wing design. It's, it's possible that it's because of this, but I simply don't know. But what I do know is that the normal light wing will surely perform differently and that you are not able to just limit the high speed version to 1700 RPM and say it's the same. It won't work on these. Something that I also find quite ironic is the fact that Be Quiet lists these as essential while the silent wings are regarded as their high-end line. Just that these outperform these by a margin. So this then leads to my conclusion. I freaking love them. Best in class for ARGB fans, second best performing fans I have seen, very good noise to performance ratio, not best in class but clearly ahead of some silent wings and included RGB hub. And we also got a couple of extra things that just make me happy like the not so annoying installation piece, amazing RGB plugs and a bit more streamlined set of versions. The only thing that I would have wished for is a PVM splitter attached to each fan or a whole 1 to 3 splitter included in, in the box if you are buying a, a triple pack. You can get around by using a single ARGB header, but you need three full PVM headers to get going and that's just that's just a bit weird. And a mini remark, this needs a magnet. I It would be way easier to move cases if it had a magnet. Now, to, to buy or not to buy? Absolutely, I, you won't make any mistake with these, not even price-wise. Um, one of these is just three euros more expensive than a silent wing, and if you get the triple pack, you can almost equalize the price. But okay, this was my take on Be Quiet's first approach for RGB fans, and quite frankly, really good job. At this point, I would also like to thank Be Quiet for sending me over these amazing fans. And if you want to keep watching, have a look at our take on the silent wings. If RGB is not your thing, they might be perfect for you. Anyway, thank you for watching and hope to see you on the next one. Bye bye.